pretty interesting that the timing of all of this. Certainly, no you doubt. could imagine that there were probably some polls that mm -hmm. showed the White House and the Biden campaign that they must do more. President Trump is way up ahead on them on the issue of immigration. So Biden's crackdown goes into effect when the border is overwhelmed. And that is defined as a week where illegal crossings average 2,500 per day. And we continue, though, to see scenes like this one. This is America. See the red lights? Uh, yeah, it's Border Patrol. No, 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 no. Uh, San Diego. See the lights? San Diego. Thank you. Bill Malusian will never forget that moment, mm -mm. right? You got about 8 million have crossed the border illegally since Biden took office. The new order would allow at least 1.8 million, however, 1.8 million into the country every year. Bill Malusian is live in Jacumba, California with more. Hi, Bill. Dana, good morning to you. It was business as usual out here last night. President's Bi President Biden's executive order took effect at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. local. So we drove around all the hot spots out here as the sun was setting. We did not see any sort of migrant rush trying to get in uh, before that executive order took effect. We'll show you what we did see. Take a look. This was at sunset, uh, 20, 30 minutes before midnight Eastern. All we saw was this little group of uh, mostly Chinese and Vietnamese illegal immigrants who had come across. But once midnight hit, they were still being processed. And it's not like an alarm went off and all these Border Patrol agents came out and started blocking everybody. The agents just did their jobs, processed them, and took them away. We'll show you what we saw earlier in the afternoon out here though take a look at this this was a bigger group of predominantly middle eastern men who crossed illegally here in hakumba several of them those special interest aliens we're talking about meaning they are coming from countries that dhs has concerns about for potential national security or terrorism issues they're supposed to get additional vetting uh, caught up with several guys from jordan egypt and turkey take a listen jordan jordan yeah. jordan yeah why why'd you come to Amer egypt Why'd you come to America? Uh, for a job. For a job? Yeah. You know it's illegal to cross the border like this, right? Yeah. You don't care? Yes, I'm okay. Hi, guys. Where, where are you guys from? Egypt. What country? Egypt. 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 Where, where are you from? What country? I am from Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. All Turkey? Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. 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 America. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. America. Where are you from? From Egypt. 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 Okay. America. Egypt. Egypt. Guys, we got some pretty stunning data from our CBP contacts. Since October 1st here in San Diego sectors, there, there's been about 260,000 illegal immigrants apprehended by Border Patrol. We're told of that number, 78% of them have been released into the United States. And we're told that's primarily because a lot of the people crossing here are coming from countries where it is very difficult to deport people. They're not afraid of deportation. You heard that Jordanian guy tell me when I asked him, you don't care about crossing illegally? He says, yes, I don't care. We'll send it back to you. Well, there's good reason for that. They're not, uh, you know, they have common sense and they're looking at this and picking it up for what it is. Thank you, Bill. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.